Hey, hey grade nines. Um, we're going to finish off our drafting booklets here with this. Uh, so we've gone through, I've done a video on these questions, and then this, this, these, and this, these. And now we'll, uh, we'll flip open and we'll kind of do a couple of these to finish it off. So um, this is some sketching. And we know by now that sketching is freehand. And all I want you to do with these, uh, number one, it says complete the circles and then duplicate them. So you're just going to complete what you've got here. One piece there, one piece there. Keep going, keep going. And then you're going to duplicate it over here. So you're obviously going to try to do this circle here. And you're going to try to do this circle here, okay? And so that's basically what that's going to look like. And you're just completing this, the symmetrical view of that, and then you're going to duplicate it over here. Same thing with this. You're uh, you're obviously trying to do some some lines and uh, and make them look similar to those. Okay, same thing here. Oh, so so actually here it talks about making a circle. So your circle needs to go through these points, and then you want to duplicate the size. So obviously you're trying to get the size the same. And uh, and the next page is some um, review of orthographic isometric and matching these guys up. So you've done a, uh, some of these questions in the textbook already. These are uh, just some additional ones. And again, you look for those similarities and then shapes that are similar, you look for the differences within the shapes. Okay, So I can see something like this and this have the curved edges. Well, that's got to be these two guys with curved edges. This one has two circles, this one has one. Well, that's pretty simple to say that this is six and uh, this is seven. Okay, so you'll just go through and uh, match those up. Okay. And the last page is actually a page of uh, missing lines. And there's two types of missing lines. Some are in the foreground, so you can see them. They're solid, they're straight. And there'll be some uh, hidden lines, so dotted lines. Remember, you do dashes. And um, it gives you a little bit of a pointer here. So this has the number two circle. That means there's two missing lines, four missing lines, five missing lines, uh, eight missing lines. And uh, and so I'll do a couple here. Well, if there's two lines missing, if I look at it like this, yep, it looks like that. If I look at it from the top, there should be two pieces. Okay, so there should be one line there. And if I look at it from the side, there should be these two pieces, and that line should be right there. So there's my two missing lines, just like it told me what I was missing. Um, when you get into some of these trickier ones here with an angle, uh, first of all, you can only see this angle from this direction. So from here and here, it'll look just like a rectangle. But from here, you're going to actually see that curved line. So you should see this. And then you should, right from the very top, see an angled line coming out about halfway. So something like that. So that's one, two, three. Well, there needs to be 10 missing lines here, so I've got quite a few. Uh, I should see this L, and these lines should match up. And from here, this guy actually just looks like a rectangle. So he's just going to look like this. So I've got one, two, three more. So that's six. That means I've got four I'm missing up here. And uh, I'm going to miss, I'm going to need to see this. And then I'm going to need to see this rectangle. And uh, he only goes about halfway. So he only goes to about here. And he's going to go here. That's one line. And there, that's two lines. So one, two, three, four. This should be kind of in line. And this should be about the same width as that. Okay, give or take. And so there's my 10 missing lines. Okay. Uh, real quick, I'll kind of show you something like this. If you're looking at them from here, that's this view. All you see is this nice, clean rectangle. Okay. However, there's something happening in the background. And you need to draw that in with hidden lines. Well, it looks like it just goes down and back, down. Okay. So we're going to guess if it's about halfway. And it goes down, I don't know, maybe about a third. So dot, 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 or dash, dash, dash. Forward, 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 forward. From this particular view, I'm going to see it. 
I'm going to see that U shape thing at that thing at the back. Okay, I should see that. And from the top view, I should see this one. A little bit longer U, and it should go back to about here. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And there's my 8. Okay, so give those a go, and, uh, and that's it. That's the end of your drafting. I, uh, I hope my explanations here have helped. And uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to send me a, a quick message on Google Classroom and we can go from there. Otherwise, uh, I look forward to seeing these uh, completed packages when you come back on Monday the 18th.